What's up y'all, Jack here, and today I want to take you through how we manage an online multi-seven figure sales team. It's Thursday, I love it, my favorite day of the week. Let's hop in, let's go. All right, so there's three things that you need to implement when you're managing and running an online sales team, all right? This isn't an office. I know we, we're in office right now, right? We have a few reps here. Most of our reps, they're spread out all over the country and we're doing our calls through Zoom. And there's three things that you wanna implement. So the first thing is you wanna have a morning huddle. Next, we're gonna do an afternoon heat check. This is where you check in with your team, make sure they're on track for their production. And then finally, we're gonna have an EOD report. At the end of the day, make sure our sales reps are doing the numbers and making us money. All right, let's go, let's hop in and dive into each section a little deeper. All right, so let's start with the morning huddle. Why is a morning huddle so important? We need to start the day on the right foot. We don't want people rolling out of bed and taking sales calls. And more importantly, we want everyone on the same page, uh, ready to go and ready to take on the day. So the first thing we're gonna do in the morning huddle, even before it starts, is our sales executive, Nick, he's gonna send out a video, a training that all of our reps can watch. And what this does is it gets their mind going. It's either gonna be motivational or it's gonna be educational. This is gonna to get our team thinking the right way and ready to kick off the day. We use a software called Slack. As a company, we love Slack. So this is an internal communication software or platform for your company. And what we do is we have a channel for our whole sales team. And after the whole team watches the video, they each throw their thoughts and what they learn from the video into the chat. This gets them engaged and gets them ready to kick off the morning huddle. So now we move into the morning huddle and this is where our whole team is meeting on Zoom. And the first thing that everybody's gonna do is they're going back to the Slack and they're gonna throw their intentions for the day. What do they intend to hit for the day? We found the higher the intentions, the better the production. So if you intend to close five deals in one day, you're more likely to close five deals than if you put, I intend to close two deals. And so we really look at the intentions. We want everyone's intentions to not be out of this world, to be a little higher than realistic. All right, the third part of the morning huddle is we're gonna do a little exercise. This is to get the blood flowing. I'm a big believer that emotion is energy in motion. And so we start the day with the energy. We like to move, and we like to get our blood flowing. And then finally, the last part of the morning huddle, we're gonna do either a role play, a live drill, or a call review. So all of our sales reps, they can actually learn. They can already get their mouth flow and their mouth moving and start their conversations for the day so they don't hop out of the huddle immediately after. So they're getting warmed up and they're ready to go. Their communication's flowing and they've already learned something. When we first started doing morning huddles, to be honest, they weren't very valuable. They weren't very important and the team could feel that. So they would show up not really interested. They, It kind of felt like they were rolling out of bed to come to the huddle. Now that we've implemented these four things inside of the morning huddle, it's made it valuable. It's, our reps are showing up excited and it's really shown in the production. So if you're running an online sales team, this is the first thing that you want to introduce, a morning huddle. All right, so it is 12.04 on a Thursday and our team has already collected $4,200. I don't say that to brag or to flex and to be, be all cool. It's honestly, I'm proud of it to be real, but it's honestly pennies to where we're going, right? I show you that to motivate you and show that, hey, this is possible. We have a team of people that are all aligned for a bigger purpose to not only make this money, but you can only make this money when you're really helping people, you actually have a good product or service. And so that's what we're doing here. That's why I show it to you because this is possible. It's not just us. Look around the world. Everything's online. I'll say in the next year, 90% of companies will be selling online in some way. Even the brick and mortar are going to be moving to some form of online payment. If you've kind of gotten to a position, this is where it was for me. You're tired of clocking into a nine to five that's not fulfilling or a position that you are not liking or, you know, you might not even be getting paid what you're worth. You need to really, truly consider the possibility that everything online is not just people lying and people being deceived that it's actually possible. And even if you tried it before and it didn't work, maybe there's a new piece of information. Maybe there's somebody that you need to hold you accountable. Let's rock, man. Let's, let's, let's take a step. Let's go. All right, so step two of running an online sales team is going to be what we call production management and heat check. At the beginning of the day, we talked about in the morning huddle, everybody puts their projection in. So what you want to do is you want to check in with your sales rep. And you do this by seeing where they are in their production. Are they on pace or are they behind pace? What I like to do is call our executive sales assistant and see where our team is just to make sure we're on track. If we find out that one of our reps is behind track, what we're going to do is call them and check in on them, see how we can line them up to get back on pace. If they're ahead of track, what we'll do is we'll shout them out in the group. You never want to criticize in public. You want to pull them aside and make sure that they know, hey, we got to pick it up a little bit. 
And if they're ahead, you want to praise them in public in front of everybody. Hey, you're killing it right now. You got 20 sets already halfway through the day. You've already beat your intentions for the day and just shout them out. And so that's how you want to handle it and do that afternoon heat check. You also wanna get a weekly one-on-one -on -one meeting in with each rep. And so this is for just a review. You wanna get kind of a temperature on the team. How are you feeling? How are you working with certain people? Is everything going good? How can we better help you level up? And also do a little training as well. That is the beauty of an afternoon heat check and production management. And that is the second part in running a successful online sales team. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call our sales executive assistant, him, and we're gonna check on production for Ashley and Marco. I wanna know, is Ashley, is she on track to hit her intentions or is Marco on track to hit his intentions? Let's see if we can hug. Kim. 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 Can you hear me now? Oh, I can hear you great now. I wanna check in on Ashley. Where is she at in appointments right now? Yeah, so far, Ashley has six tracks booked and she also had four demos booked. So she has 10 in all. It already includes EM sets from the IG Summoner account. Real quick, what, what are her intentions? What were her intentions? She will have 15 sets. Okay, 15. Three closes. Perfect, all right. Now Marco, where are we at with Marco? For Marco, he wants to have 10 sets. For now, he has three sets. All right, Marco's a little bit behind. All good. I, I just want to check in and see where we are. Appreciate you, Kim. So what I just did right there is something that Nick, our sales executive, is doing all day. He's checking in. You want to know the pulse of your team. Sometimes people, when they're in this online space, they're just floating out. They may go take a nap on the couch. You don't even know what they're doing a lot of times. So you want to make sure you're checking the pulse of the team. Are your sales reps actually hitting the numbers? Are they doing the work? Like I said, if they are, we're gonna shout them out in the group, in the Slack. If they're not, we're gonna call them personally, check in, make sure everything's good. And ideally realign them and be like, yo, now you're a little bit behind your intention, we need to pick it up just a little bit. And that's it, that's how we do team management and make sure our team's on track. All right, so since Marco's just a little bit behind right now, I'm gonna go check in on him, make sure we get him lined up uh, and ready to kill it for the second half of the day. They know, they know what kind of conversation they have and they don't have to guess and they can be a lot more, they can deliver the product way better. So, because it's more tailored. That's why it's important. Number one, you want to make sure they're qualified. So, that's the baseline. Do that. Person, you feel like they're qualified, send them up. Next step for you is knowing exactly what kind of conversation we're having. You move that to the closer. And the closer's not going in there, hey, I need $250. We're going to get more. Yeah. We'll get the real price of the program. Okay, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I want nine grand, one case scholarship. There you go. Yeah. One case scholarship. <laughs> I, like, I like that one. I like that one. Use that, baby. Two clap. All right, the last but not least key ingredient to running and managing an online sales team is what we like to call the EOD report, the end of day report. When you're in sales and when you're trying to, you know, make a lot of money and build a team, you need to know the numbers. Is Marco over here, is he hitting the KPIs? Is Ashley behind me, is she hitting the KPIs? Is she on track? Not just during the day, but every single day. And you can look at this data over the course of a month. And we do this by using and leveraging these EOD reports. We, as a company, we use Closerlink. This is the software that we've been developing and you can assign different KPIs to different positions. And once you do that, at the end of the day, the sales rep can go into Closerlink and they can fill out their KPIs for the day. And you can look at it over a period of time to see if they're trending up or if they're trending down. And so this is super important. If you do not know your numbers for your sales team, you're not really running a sales team. You, you need to know the production for each post, closer, each setter. That's how you can scale your team up and you can add more flow. Here are some of the questions that we put on our EODs. How many calls did you make? How many conversations did you have? How many appointments did you set? How many demos did you conduct? How many demos were on your calendar? So that's how you get the show rate. How many were on the calendar versus how many you conducted? And then how many demos did you close? Other things we like to track every day. Did you operate at your peak performance? Did you protect your family's biology, one through 10? And the last question that I love is I did everything in my power to help the clients make the best decision for them, one out of 10. And when you track all these numbers, you can see the production growth or the production decline. All right, y'all, so that is how you run and manage an online sales team. It's different when you have an office and everyone's in it and everybody's right here, you can really see how they're working, how they're producing. When you're online in this online space where it seems the world has moved to, you need to have a framework and a flow for how you can manage a team and how you can scale them to not only six figures a month, but ultimately seven figures a month. All right, so this is another day in the life, another day of growing a business. Sometimes it's pretty, sometimes it's flashy, but most days, it's just another day. Let's go.